Hi guys, be with you in a minute. I'm just going to just do a little bit of uh, background work here. Won't be too long. I thought we'd do uh, level four missions again in the Tango, but I just want to do uh, a little bit with you on the fit of the ship. We, we covered in the last video, but not as as much as I want to do today. So just give me a couple of minutes to set up, and I'll uh, I'll be with you. Okay. Okay, here's the Tengu. Uh, just go through the fit again. Uh, some of the stuff you, you already know if you saw my last video. But let's have a look at the um, modules that you can you can actually replace these. These are subsystems. So you can replace these depending on what you want the what you want to configure the ship to do. So, um, if you want it to be a cloaky, warpy, stealthy ship, then you would fit something like a... On there you would fit something like a cloak, um, the cloak module, the ability to cloak and warp cloak. <coughs> so basically it turns it into a black ops ship. But right now, I'll just give you what I've got on here. I've got the uh, fuel catalyst. Uh, and again, the traits there for it are 10% afterburner, 10%. Um, that's both velocity bonus and then 10% bonus to the benefits of overheating afterburners. I tend not to overheat mine, if I'm honest, I don't need. I, I don't get in situations where I do. I've done the odd one, but very rarely. And your next one is your accelerated, accelerated ejection bay. Again, it's, it's bonuses to uh, kinetic, uh, and you'll see that kinetic bonuses to light, heavy, and heavy assault missiles. It's a 5% bonus. Uh, and then a rapid, um, you get bonus uh, rapid as well uh, to the launcher um, rate of fire. And then uh, further 10%, bonus to heavy miss and heavy assault velocity so it's pretty pretty good um, for for the missiles for the the ones i like which are the heavy assaults they really do rip ships apart and then you've got the roll bonus which is 25 percent reduction of uh power cpu so it's power grid cpu uh fitting cost of the light rapids heavy and assault heavy assaults <coughs> So that's that. Uh, the amplification node, that'll give you both boosts to your shield. So it's a 10% boost to your shield booster and 10% bonus to benefits of overheating shield boosters. Again, I, I do overheat now and again uh, if, if the situation's getting a little bit sticky, but um, <clears throat> I do have the amplification there. That's the... Um, of the Pith A type uh, medium shield booster. 
I'll show you that one. And that is it. This actually boasts uh, 489 HP every uh, every cycle, which is pretty good. Um, so look, uh, going back to the amplifier. Now the amplifier is to run alongside the shield booster, and that will give the shield booster a boost of 43%. Be, be, again, because it's a pith A, um, and that's. Yeah, they're they're not cheap, but they're worth. Let's have a look at the market on that one. Uh, no orders found, but they they were they're worth that extra slot rather than shoving another harder in. It it's it swings and roundabouts, and then your final one on the uh, subsystems. And you do on on the ship as well. You do have a subsystems uh, storage hold just for subsystems. And I think you can fit two or three in there, but I tend not to put anything in there now. So this is your um, uh, core subsystem, and the traits for that is as a five percent bonus to capacity and a three percent bonus to uh, energy warfare resistance, uh, and then a roll bonus is a bonus to the ship's power output. So all in all, those modules, um, in conjunction with these. Will and and the um, rigs. You got the rigs there, which are again all helping. I've got hydraulic bay, a rocket fuel, and a medium capacity control. I couldn't. You can't get a tech two on there because it's too much. It overloads it. So you've got. I've got two tech twos and a tech one. Um, but they again. If you look at this one, that's the fuel cache. The attributes. Um, this is ship modification designed to increase maximum missile flight time at the expense of CPU requirements. So you lose a bit of CPU, but you gain the missile flight time. And the hydraulic bay, bay thruster, that's the increased um, missile velocity at the expense of CPU again. Um, yeah, okay. So again, these are these are all pretty standard rigs. You can fit them fit them on most ships. Uh, my low my low ones are uh, dragoristic ballistic controls. I've always used those. Again, they're not cheap, but they are amazing for the DPS that this little ship puts out. And this will I can out DPS yes, most of my battleships if I use those. In fact, um, all of them, unless you're in a Marauder and you've got that set up right. But yeah, this is great little ship. So that's, uh, that, that's it on the fitting. So, let's have a look. So let's have a look what we've got today as far as uh, a level four mission from the uh, agent. And let's go to spies. And here we are. It just says eliminate spies and their guards, and that's it. And it's in Kamoka. <laughs> and it's Garista, so it's kinetic and thermal, so I don't have to do anything as far as uh, weapons or modules we've got we have got what we need already so we can literally accept that so we'll accept that mission and we'll go and do it come okay let's get her undocked I'm just going to go to full screen mode as well guys because it's just a bit uh there you go. Uh, yeah, we'll keep those. Yeah. And the heart is on. Don't know why, because we're going through two gates. Warp drive active. Oh, 
put my I'll put my fit my ship fit in description below guys just so you can see it I don't mind doing that uh, if you want anything really uh, any fit wise ship wise I can put them down there for you I don't have a problem with that I'm just going to go up. I'm going to orbit this uh, this colony, asteroid colony. Orbit about ten. So let's get let's get killing these. Let's all 
bit that down there. This is our reload while we've got a chance. We'll make our way down to these. I can hit him already. They all up now. <coughs> I really do 
I think they've watered them down, you know, make them more um, playable for people. Which I understand, you know. Okay, so that should be done. There you go. Ghost of Spies objective complete. So we'll go back to uh, Amoka. Warp drive active. That's all we had to do was just eliminate the spies and and that was it. I do like these missions where you have to do a little bit more. The more the merrier. The more ships the merrier for me. The tougher it, the tougher I like it. If you nearly lose your ship in a mission then that's for me that's great. Keeps you on your toes, keeps you thinking. I'd prefer the Tango. I've got quite a few battleships. I have uh, the Dominic's a um, Navy issue. Dominic's. Um, I prefer these. I prefer the Tango. I really love it. You can always tell how, how hard the mission is going to be with the, like I said, with the amount of money and the loyalty points you're going to get. So there, there you go. I mean, you knew it wasn't going to be that hard because 2,000 angles was nothing. Right, AFK for a couple of minutes, guys. I've just got to sort something out. So I won't be long. Two, two minutes.
Okay. We are back. Let's request a mission. Ah, anomic base. That's one we don't do. There's the only one we we do do is the anomic team, and I've got Gamma uh, ship to do that. In. Hopefully, we'll get anomic team and show you how we do that. And I can decline these. Uh, any of the anomic. Um, Missions you can decline without penalty. So let's decline that one. That's your good cargo delivery. Okay. There you've got to <coughs> got to go to the warehouse and get it. It's in space. So let's accept it. It's only eighteen hundred loyalty points. So you know what's coming. It's in uh, where is it? It's in Rubus and it's it's Sancha. Uh, if it's Sancho, it's EM. No, it's Serpenta. Serpenta is Prime, not Sancho. Right, I'm going to go with what I've got fit wise. I think that should be fine. Serpentis. Oh, that's on dock. It's in Ruvus. Yeah, next door. here already uh, okay let's go to all let's orbit this at 15 after burner on and let's start killing what we can in range <coughs> thoraxes megathrons I'm going to start making my way over to the uh, big boys. Ah, good. Let's go. Get rid of some of these. Let's get rid of the shield booster on. Go to that can because that's where the warehouse. That's where you pick up the stuff. This has changed uh, an awful lot. Ah, just kill another 
big one. Going for the uh, bounties on these now. Bounties, what, 543,000, 943, 487. Better than a kick in the teeth. You've got time limit on your mission, but you'll do it and have a look. Uh, yeah, you've got 1 hour 11 minutes. No problem. <coughs> Ammo, without range. 
check his his loot. I don't know. It must have been added in. <coughs> it's been added in later because it's not a name I. We had officer spawns in Empire. Oh, the missions. Wow. That would be something else. <coughs> so I'll check his wreck out. worth dropping, which there usually never is. They don't like to give you too much in Empire. Taken, but there's nothing. Let's go after this big boy. You'd think you'd have something, you know, even just tech two ish, but nothing. <clears throat> yeah, they don't like to reward you too much. Get into range. Once we're in range, it will not last long. Say what she's got to offer us as another one. We'll give her the quaif first. There you go. 
score. Oh, this is not too bad, actually. This is quite, yeah. If you look at the uh, loads of points, we'll accept that. It's against Sancho. So that is. We are going to change um, fittings, resistance, weapon. So that's. Uh, I've accepted it, yeah. Let's get things changed here. So I know. Okay, and we want here. So rage EM. Ten. Won't need that many, but I like to uh, unprepared. those and I will take the ethereum internal so we'll take the kinetic car and we'll put the EM ones on yeah yeah okay. and that uh, that's it let's just fit it Full and we're good to go. <clears throat> What's the mission parameters? Destroy all the ships at the encounter. Your main target will be looking around the asteroid belt. Yeah. Seek, destroy, then return to me. So destroy all the ships. And that's what we're going to do. And it's in Rufus next door again. They usually are in you, Rufus. Orb drive active. I said guys I'll put the, at the end of this video uh, I'll put the fit I'll put the fit in, in the bottom in the description so uh, you see exactly what I've got on there right let's get to the mission and it's on to do now get rid of these little ones of course and make my way to the gate and orbit the gate uh, about what the little ones will web you scram you try and stop you in fact I'm going to switch to javelin take these out well before as you can see there's a few more spawning now but as long as you take the little ones out at least you can warp out if you're in trouble
you looking some more up my range with the uh, javelins is 79 it's pretty pretty damn good I'm being track instructed by Centre's Plague Lord a bit more I'll get my boots from them so they're hitting me with the MP uh, EM damage the MP EM and I then so that's all the little ones nearly dead so you can pick and choose what you want to kill now Again at 1000, put my afterburner on and make my way towards the gate and just kill off what comes at me.
That's in range. Come into range. Down pretty quickly. Like I say, the DPS from this tank is amazing. You can see what I'm doing there, what I'm dealing with in blue, blue numbers. There, my. You can see my DPS. Funny ships, uh, funny looking ships are the Sanchez, especially the, uh, the Nightmare here, the Battleship. Good ship. Good friend of mine used to call them uh, spiky butt plugs. <laughs> Reg Keeper, bless him.
adventure is. There's literally a couple of seconds between one volley after another. No ship can stand much concern that one for any length of time. Very well, any ram. Escalations. Uh, escalations when you're doing anomalies, it can lead you into some pretty hairy situations, but they're worth it if they're uh, ten or tens. You don't really get ten or tens in uh, in Empire missions. Well, the Empire anomalies. I know you don't. I think they're four of tens. Right, so this is the final room, so let's make our way towards. And I'll wait till they're in range of the rage, which is 44 kilometers.
scratch the paint on my tango. A module has run out of charges. You hellhound. and you're doing level 4 missions okay, you're looking at at least 12, 13, 14,000 loyalty points per mission uh, plus more, more money they are a bit harder in North Sec but you can still do it the blockade is the one uh, you can come unstuck if you're not if you just well if you're not just not watching um, yeah Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. But there's a few, like the blockade, that you need to salvage because you get the tags, the dog tags, insignia, and they're worth, they're worth money, quite a bit of money when you collect them all together. Yeah, let's complete the mission. Right. That's brilliant. Right guys, thank you very much again for uh, staying with me and watching this. Uh, don't forget to subs subscribe and I'll be seeing you again in the next one. We might do the Loki, we might go out into Null Second the Loki. Um, we'll fill them in out there, see where it takes us, could be anywhere. Um, but it's great trying to get, trying to bop your way back home through the Badlands. I love doing it, I do it quite often. Okay, take care guys, see you soon.